going to be a hell of a week for musicians' birthdays, starting with a birthday double. How fitting that Marty McGuire and Natalie Maines share a birthday week, along with Marty's sister Emily. They formed the force that is Dixie Chicks. Sarah, you were growing up down there in Wimberley, Texas, during the height of Dixie Chicks' popularity. Were they an influence? To say they were simply an influence <laughs> would be a massive understatement. <laughs> I love the Dixie Chicks, and uh, I also want to give a, a shout out to Lloyd Maines, Natalie's yeah. dad, who was uh, very active and still is in the Central Texas music scene and was super encouraging to me early on. Aww. So we'll send this out to all of them with this classic. Classic. touch the earth I want to break it in my hands I want to grow something wild and unruly I want to sleep on the hard ground in the comfort of your arms on a pillow of blue bonnets and a blanket made of stars oh it sounds good to me I said cowboy There's a new album coming in 2020. Play our show. Ooh, was I ever psyched to see this name come up on the old birthday list this week? Fela Kuti. What a badass. He created a textural aesthetic that has influenced and inspired the width and breadth of the musical world and did so in the midst of great socio-political turmoil in his native Nigeria. This song for instance, Zombie was written in protest against the barbaric methods of the Nigerian military. I feel like I hear a message loud and clear in every exquisite layer of this composition. You can't stop us. We will live and we will dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, how about Mr. Brett Williams on keys, Brittany Haas on fiddle, Chris Eldridge on guitar, Kush Abade on drums, Mike Elizondo on the bass, playing happy birthday to a true master Fela Cootie. Oh, hells yes. It's the birth week of none other than Angela Lansbury. Oh, 94 years young and still performing. She's doing a performance of The Importance of Being Earnest next month. I'll see you there. I've been a fan ever since my grandma Barbara and grandpa Michael introduced me to Murder, She Wrote during a family <laughs> vacation. My devotion to her was only solidified by her voicing of an animated teapot in Beauty and the Beast. And I know I'm late to the party here, but I am newly obsessed with her on account of finally spending some quality time with the original cast recording of Sweeney Todd. Did you know did you know that the musical moment wherein it is revealed to us exactly how and with what Mrs. Lovett will be making her pies henceforth would not have existed were it not for Ms. Lansbury? Did you know that? She was leaning towards not accepting the role of Nellie Lovett because as she said, it's called Sweeney Todd, not Nellie Lovett. <laughs> So Stephen Sondheim wrote the song A Little Priest as part of a role expansion effort to lure her in. Thank God it worked. And thank God for Angela Lansbury. Uh-oh. Seems a downright shame. Shame? Seems an awful waste. Such a nice plump frame, what's his name as? Ad, as, nor it can't be traced. Business needs a lift, debts to be erased. Think of it as thrift, as a gift, if you get my drift. No? Seems an awful waste. I mean, with the price of meat, what it is, when you get it, if you get it. Huh. Good, you got it. Take, for instance, Mrs. Moody and her pie shop. Business never better, using only pussy cats and toast. Now a pussy's good for maybe six or seven at the most. I'm sure they can't compare as far as taste. Mrs. Lovett, what a charming notion. Well, Eminently practical and yet appropriate place. as always. Mrs. It's Lovett, nice. how I did without you all these years, I'll never know. Think about how it. Lots of other gentlemen will soon be coming for also a shake. Also undetectable, how choice, how rare. Pies. For what's the sound of the world out there? What, Mr. Todd, what, Mr. Todd, what is that sound? Those crunching noises pervading the air. Yes, Mr. Todd, yes, Mr. Todd, yes, all around. It's man devouring man, my dear. And, and who, who are, are we to, to deny it in here? Sarah Jarrell as Angela Lansbury. As now we love it, we love you, Angela. And we'll polish off this birthday segment with a fella about whom John Lennon said, and I quote, if you tried to give rock and roll another name, you might call it Chuck Berry. <laughs> Chuck Berry, he changed the musical world forever with his voice, pen, and guitar, of course. We are all Chuck Berry fans, every last one of us, which means that Trey Anastasio is also a Chuck Berry fan. So uh, course, tell, us, tell us what the great man meant to you. Oh, I think everyone who's ever strapped on a guitar owes it all to Chuck Berry, so. All right, gotcha. All right, shall we? Overseas to the USA. New love, 
Los Angeles, oh, how I yearn for you. Detroit, Chicago, Chattanooga, Baton Rouge. Let alone just to be back at home in my old St. Louis. to the shores of the Delaware Bay. You can bet your life I did till I got back in the USA. Chuck, we miss you. Happy birthday, all you extraordinary musicians out there.